Hey everybody, I'm here at the Logitech Experience Center in London with Randy. I think everybody who follows our space knows who Randy is, but maybe you want to introduce yourself? Yep, Randy Chapman, Solutions Engineer over here at Logitech. Uh, been in the industry for a long, long time. Awesome. So we did a video and you've done some videos on what the Meetup 2 is and the features. Yep. But one of the cool things is how simple it is to set up. Yep. So let's yep. talk that through. We've, we've unboxed it. We're right here. Nothing's yep. happened. How do yep. we set it up? Yeah, so obviously we, we showed you the, the mounting thing. So you pick your mounting thing, whether it's going to be wall-mounted, retrofitted on a meetup, uh, one wall or TV mount, or uh, put on a display kind of using that clip thing. Uh, you plug in your cable. So if you're going to use it for BYOD, then you need the active cable, which again is that accessory, just plugs in there. If you're going to run it on your network, then you choose whether you want wired or wireless Ethernet um, uh, to get it onto the internet to be managed by sync and, and that sort of thing, or whether you want to connect it to app space yeah. to run digital signage. Obviously, you'll need power. So rather than having a brick that goes into a, a second cable, we've just got a simple cable with uh, an adapter for, for changing ends. Obviously, that's running the UK thing. We also have the C7, I think, is adapter, the little figure of eight. Yeah. So if you wanted to run a, a second cable or kind of make this a more simple one, you can. So again, so power, choose your, your Ethernet uh, kind of mode. Choose whether you want two cable BYOD, so that's USB and HDMI. Um, single cable BYOD using the active cable. And then you connect HDMI to your display. Once you've got all that and it's powered up, then the out-of-the-box experience can start. So there's a couple of ways to do it. The best and easiest way... Uh, if you're running Ethernet, then obviously it's going to be connected to the network and you can press a couple of buttons to enable something called local network access or LNA. So LNA is, it's a web UI. So right. it's web UI running on the device and you can connect to, you know, your laptop, go to the IP address. So this is running to a screen, it drives a screen, so it'll tell you the IP address. It actually so tells you the, the IP address, the username and the password, nice. the default password is just the last six of the uh, serial number like so many others do. Uh, it will also tell you that you have to change the LNA password within 48 hours or LNA will be disabled. That's a security feature. Love that. So, you know, the first time you log in, it will suggest that you, you, you reset the password. Then you can go through the setup for time zone and, you know, all those sort of, sort of normal things. You can also decide what framing mode you want, what uh, mode you want to be in, whether it's BYOD or app space mode. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's just kind of a next, 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 tick, 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 done. Yeah. And, and away you go. If you don't want to connect Ethernet, the really cool thing is, is Logi has an app for that. So that's uh, called, uh, there you go, Sync Installer. You can download it from your Play Store or the iOS Store. So this is kind of the, more the consumer thing we see with, you know, your Amazon Echoes or your Nest Space or whatever, like, like a, that kind of experience. Yeah. That's very yeah. cool. So basically, just you know, simple device. You can install a device, or if you've got multiple devices and you've already done it, you can manage and save profiles and stuff. That's a really big deal, right? Because if you're if you're doing lots of rooms, having your profile set up with yeah. your Wi-Fi settings, whatever else. Yeah, is exactly. Really nice. And and really, all it is, all it does right now is the Wi-Fi. So if again, if you're not going to plug in Ethernet and you want to go on your Wi-Fi, as long as you're on the same network you want to connect to then you can manage it by LNA, but actually it will discover all the SSIDs that are around. So it just tells you to press the Bluetooth cable. Uh, it kind of searches for the device, you find it, and then you, you attach it to the, yeah. to the, to the Wi-Fi uh, of your choice. You put in your credentials for your Wi-Fi and you can enable LNA straight from there. And then once you've enabled LNA, you can save the profile and then you plug in the next device, you discover it, you, you, you push the profile that you've already saved to that new device cool. and, re, and lather, rinse, repeat. So the sync is really, really cool. And either on, I set up my browser or phone, I can then connect it to Logi Sync, which is your management Correct, yeah, yeah. yeah, once, you, yeah once, you've, once you've connected uh, and got it onto LNA, then you do that next, next, next thing to connect yeah. it to sync and choose your framing modes and all your AI and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then, you know, the last choice is what mode you want to put it in. So right now, the two modes are BYOD mode, which is... You know, connected to sync from a digital signage platform, kind of static, one static image, and that's all it yep. can do. It would be cool if sync could do, you know, playlists and all that kind of thing, but then we've also got app space mode. So app space uh, supports whatever you want for digital signage. As I said in the last video, I'm running a really cool playlist of the actual uh, 
uh, app space panel that connects to the room calendar and all that sort of thing. Yeah. For, uh, and also and some marketing stuff and whatever else. Multiple images, videos, all kinds of stuff. All kinds of really cool stuff. Or you just, you know, make it simple and, and clean and, you know, kind of uh, do what you want. Um, really, really cool. Another mode that we will have coming soon will be a Teams mode. How, what it will be called, I have no idea. But Microsoft announced a little while back that they were going to support BYOD in a big way, and they've kind of doubled down on that. Yeah. I think we were we were talking about that offline, but um, what they've also announced is that certain vendors will have the ability to run the Teams panel interface on the front of room displays. Um, you know, sort of when the when the room's not in use. Yeah, so, so you have a Teams like you like think a big panel UI, so you you get some of that Teams like experience, but you don't have to have the full MTR. Kind of well, the Teams point. panel is basically what you know the, the the room booking panel is running outside your room typically. Yeah. Now imagine that on your front of room display, so it shows you the calendar. So you don't have to have one panel outside and one panel in. You could just you know if you wanted to just have your BYOD device with your calendar actually running on the front of room display. Yeah. Uh, you could also imagine, and I don't know this for certain because Microsoft also announced this in the roadmap. We can talk about it. Is digital signage for yes. MTR on Windows. That will eventually come to MTR and Android, and I think in the fullness of time, with fingers crossed, and if you're listening, prioritize this, <laughs> Microsoft. Well, branding's coming to panels as well, so it'll be interesting. Branding's coming branding to panel. We'll yeah, so maybe some branding that. support, but also maybe Microsoft digital signage pushed. So maybe it can alternate between the Teams panel and digital signage. No idea. Would be really cool, so please do that. <laughs> yeah. That's so, awesome. It's good to understand, like, for a BYOD device, again, there is some setup there because there's so much functionality, but how slick it is either. I love things that give me an IP address, give me a username, give me a password is cool, but the app is really a nice touch as well. The app is a cool is a cool touch. You know, I, I used it actually at the uh, um, uh, Logi work event we did yesterday, reset the device and, you know, sort of connected it to the Wi-Fi that was supposed to connect to actually at the venue. Yeah. Um, and it took, you know, seconds to actually do. Um, and I actually ran through the LNA interface on my phone you know, so, you know, next, 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 done. Awesome. Chose the mode and away I went. Cool. Uh, yeah. If you want to find out more, what's the best thing to do? Uh, yeah, logi.com, um, probably slash meetup too, I'm going to say. Yeah, or just, just go to logitech.com. It'll probably be on the homepage because it's a new product that we want to everybody to have. Uh, and go buy one. Go buy many. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks Randy. All right. Great of you. Cheers, mate. See you.